It's Dr. Kim Bird Ryder. So we're going to use the turbo dog to clean up the downward dog. We're changing it. So this is how it goes. And this is from Anna Forest Yoga, by the way. So it's the same setup as the dolphin. You lift your elbows off the floor slightly, squeeze the elbows towards one another, and then lift. Now in this position, the wrists are no longer at end range. The elbows are out of their hyperextension. The shoulders, it's if you squeeze the elbows together, it's impossible for the shoulders to get to 180 degrees. They'll go to about 160 degrees of flexion, which is just fine. Lots of strengthening here. Now you bend the knees, lift the tailbone up towards the sky to reclaim the lower dotted curve. Close the low front ribs to neutralize the mid back, then work on straightening the knees, then work on pressing the heels. The knees are not gonna go all the way straight and the heels will not go to the floor. You only have 20 degrees of dorsiflexion at the ankles. If you are driving the heels to the floor, you are most likely pronating the feet and buying yourself some extra dorsiflexion. So as you look at your feet, your feet, your ankles stay in neutral. If that is too hard at this time, which is very difficult, you can take that to the wall or to a chair and build your way or start with a dolphin. For a downward dog. Start with a dolphin, you spread your fingers wide. Arms are like a railroad tracks. Finger, elbow, shoulder, one line. Drop your head, curl your toes under. And maybe this is all you can do today is curling the toes under, stretching across the bottoms of your feet. If you can lift one knee, do that, or both knees. Lift one heel, put all the pressure on the left, and switch. Switch again. Switch. And down. Either repeat the dolphin or come to the down dog, which is the same position on the arms. The elbows are just lifted. Drop your head and lift. Elbows are bent and squeezing in. Lift your right heel and switch. And switch. And switch. Bring your knees down, sit back onto you.